I just built this guitar from only Home Depot supplies. Here's why. I broke my dad's guitar. Yeah! And I need to replace it by tomorrow before he notices, but I live in the boonies and Daddy Bezos can't send me a replacement fast enough, so I've come to Home Depot to try and make my own. Home Depot! So I need to find materials that can work as guitar parts. But we're at Home Depot and they don't have shit. Fortunately, Home Depot does have wood, but it'll be hard to work with. Unfortunately, they don't have tuning keys and strings, so we need to work with what we got here. Behold! A guitar! I'm not gonna tell you everything I got because you guys are too stupid to remember it all. I'm starting with the back of the guitar, and I'm gonna use maple because that's what guitars are made out of. But, like I said, Home Depot didn't have for supplies, so I need to cut and glue this in order to make it wide enough for the back. Since I'm crunched for time, I'm utilizing the oldest trick in the book, employing your friend with beer. <laughs> <laughs> just, just cut the damn thing. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for the straightest cut in the world? Ooh. Uh. <laughs> That's not very straight. Neither are you. <laughs> no matter how much we try, we can't get that little bit of warp out of it. Uh, long story short, Home Depot wood sucks. And... Voila! That's yeah. actually kind of pretty. Someone didn't cut theirs right, so we gotta start over. Four attempts later, and we finally have pieces to glue up. This will be the back of the guitar. <laughs> glue time. That didn't happen. <laughs> That's why you put clamps on the top. We got glue everywhere. <laughs> wow, 15 hours later and we have one board that we can use. I love woodworking. We're not done yet. This boy's still too thick, so we gotta plane it down and make it thinner. Unfortunately, it's also too wide, so we have to do that by hand. We have enough bedding for the winter, so it's time to try and take this off without breaking it. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Sure sounds like a guitar. With that done, I've traced this guitar so I know what shape to cut it. You might remember, there's a front and a back of a guitar, and they're both the same thickness, so I've done what no man has done before, and made the front too. But the front has a secret. It's made out of plywood, because I'm too lazy to do the same thing we just did for the back. Since we just spent so much time making this thin enough to resonate, we now need to make it strong again and add ribs to it. The ribs are roughly cut, but just like human ribs, they need to be shaped so that they're more effective. Just like our Lord and Savior, we're gonna be using the best tool to make ribs with, the oscillating spindle sander. I'm stupid and I forgot I actually need to cut both of these out before I glue the ribs on. Now we can glue. Just like you, this piece of plywood is really ugly. So we're gonna add a maple inlay and hopefully make it more pretty. It's round. I'm about to take this wood to Pound Town. Tummies. I'll put it in there. Yeah, that's fair. Wow, it looks beautiful. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Not, not as terrible as I thought. I mean, I have full faith in you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> Where Trump failed, I will succeed. It's time to build the walls. We're gonna take the same plywood and try to get it to bend. Obviously, it doesn't bend, so we're gonna need to make relief cuts on the back so that maybe it's more flexible than this. We need to form it to the sides of the guitar, so we have to cut this out, and then we can form this board within there, and, and then it'll stay together, and then it'll sound good. Do you think I can smash through it? <laughs> the form is ready, but obviously this doesn't work. We put a few cuts in it and... Wow, look at that. You can thank Ben's genius for this. Now it's... 
<laughs> All right, obviously we don't know what we're doing. What we saw on the internet is that you put this in here and then you get a thicker piece of wood and you put that in the same place and you glue them together and then it'll keep the structure. I think this part will work, but this part doesn't work. This is the maple. It keeps breaking. Break here. Break here. It just keeps breaking. Supposedly you put this in hot water and then you bend this over a hot thing and then it'll bend instead of breaking. So we're gonna try, try that. So we put cuts in it and we're making it hot and wet. Now that this is nice and moist, we can heat it even more, get it really hot. It burns the muscle of the wood and forces it to do what we want it to do. And the water prevents it from charring. Wow, this is working super well. So much better. Holy crap. Ah! The maple is kiln dried and not meant for this, which is why it keeps breaking, which is why we were using the plywood for the taller sides. Oh, it totally bends though. Hold. Time to see if it kept its shape. Oh, okay, so this wants to bend back. We've given up on bending the maple. We're just gonna bend the same plywood because obviously that bends. Now let's get this done. What? Ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's hot! All right, now it's ready to be bent in place. Slowly. Now that it's all clamped up, I found that the best way to get it to submit to me is to burn its flesh, so let's do that. Ta -da. Look at that. This glued to this, and then this don't move anymore. And just like that, you got half a guitar. Now to do it all over again. We got the size of a guitar. I hear you say, well, it has a slightly crooked bridge now, but it still doesn't look complete. First of all, shut up. Second of all, I got this. We'll put this here, and then maybe it'll look more like a guitar. Now it looks like a guitar. Look at that, dude. <laughs> Time to work on the neck. We just rough cut this piece of wood to be the neck, but as you can see, it's pretty flat. And it needs to be angled like this. So we're gonna cut it. So we're gonna cut it and make it look like this guitar. The board ain't flat anymore. Time to go cut it out on the bandsaw. The neck looks more like a neck now, but it needs to be rounded. The neck is nice and rounded. Hey Ben. Yeah? This is messed up. What do you mean? This is supposed to be touching the edge of the, here, just come with me. Look at how it ends right there. Yeah. Which means that this is way too long. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to cut this. Since we f***ed up, we gotta make it better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's like the inverse of leg lengthening surgery. <laughs> In order to attach the neck of the guitar to the body of the guitar, we're gonna cut a slot so we can put a little bit of reinforcement in there. But I need to cut a slot with the router and if I it up, can't go back from that. Oh boy, this is scary. It looks like a groove. <laughs> That's good. And there's the guitar! <laughs> it's got a nose. <laughs> Time to make the music part. 
I don't think this is gonna go well. We got the fretboard, we have finishing nails, and we'll use these as the frets. We're just gonna cut them off and see if we can put them in place. We have everything measured out. Whether or not it's gonna sound good, it's not gonna sound good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that only took forever. Now all the frets are cut, so I have to figure out is it easier to glue the nails in first and then cut them? And how do I even glue them? Oh, I still have so much to do. Maybe I shouldn't cut them, because having a bunch of nails on your fretboard looks metal as hell. Let's just glue it on. I'll put the heads of the nails here. The string tensioners need to get put in place. I'm just gonna use eye hook and lock nuts. I was almost done. Okay, now just to glue it back on, I guess. Okay, I glued the neck back on, it's in one piece, so it's time to properly put on one of the strings. I still need to varnish this, but I want to test and see if this nylon even works. This is just 50 pound nylon fishing lines. Oh, wait, can you even hear that? It tunes. I mean, that's a note. You know, the question is, is it louder? Ow. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, this is louder. So let's see if I can play any notes with it. Okay, it's really high. Okay, that's exactly the same note. Okay, every single time I play, it just plays this note here. I guess, I guess I'll just try and flatten this. This is definitely not the right way to do this, but at this point, No! <laughs> it's every no, and it's like all of them. Okay, new theory. New theory, new theory. I'm gonna try lowering this, raising this. I don't want to. <laughs> How the hell am I gonna get it apart and make it not look like doo-doo garbage? It's better than it was. Should I just string up all six of them? Oh. <laughs> it instantly gets out of tune. That's a guitar! No way! <laughs> I think for the sake of Home Depot guitar, this is what a Home Depot guitar sounds like. And now, I will do my best to get it to sound good by using real strings. Before I put real guitar strings on this, let's uh, varnish it up so it doesn't get damaged too much. All right, the guitar's varnished. I got real guitar strings. These are metal guitar strings, so they should resonate even louder. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tension them properly. Hopefully this will fit through the nail. Oh, not the head of the nail. Okay, wait, let me try, let me try and just take these out. Maybe I didn't glue it in super well. Oh, hey, it pays to suck at building things. I'm scared, I'm scared of it. That sounds so much better. Wait a minute. This might be way better than I thought. Oh, oh, and the pin came out. Where'd the, oh no, where'd the pin go? Maybe I make the pins go really deep in there. There, that's never coming out. <laughs> Having a whole nail in there is kind of metal. This is what the inside of the guitar looks like, by the way. Okay, now we have a guitar. All right, it's been about two minutes. Let's see if it's still in tune. That's so bad. This guitar is really bad, actually. First thing I'm noticing is that there's a big gap 
right here. This string is also really high for some reason. The metal strings definitely make the difference. That sounds actually really good, but only open. Because as soon as you try and play a note... <laughs> oh, what about this? Oh, that's okay. Those are some notes. Those are actually playable notes. I can't believe it. Wow. It's just this one that's the problem. Can I get like a file? <laughs> is this stupid? Yes. This is definitely how the pros do it. How about now? Oh! I actually can't see uh, which fret is what number. Normally there's little marks, so I think uh, I'm just gonna mark it with a sharpie. I don't know, is that stupid or is that funny? <laughs> Ta -da! Can you even tell the difference? Probably not. I don't know if you can even see that. Let me do like a, we'll do a side by side. So I'll, I'll play or one after the other. Sorry for the awful playing. I don't know how to play guitar. So this is going to sound like shit on both of them, but it should sound better on this one. That's all, that's all, you gotta hear. Mildly successful. Good sir, here's my guitar, okay? Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. That's, hey, this is pretty amazing, Theo. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm just amazed that it plays. Look inside the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'd be a very satisfying ending, so I'm gonna try and play Blackbird by the Beatles on this. Wish me luck. That's about all I got in me. I don't play guitar and so my fingers hurt really really bad but I hope that you enjoyed. Obviously you did if you watched this far so don't lie to yourself and just go watch another video and if you like that one then you can subscribe. Uh, anyway I'm never gonna touch this again. Bebo out.